welcome to the mystical City of God, presenting the previously untold history of the Mother of God from her immaculate inception in God's eternal mind to her glorious coronation by the triune God in heaven. Venerable Mary Regretta's four-volume history, some 2,700 pages, bears the name, the mystical City of God, the name given to God's Mother as it was drawn from chapter 21 of the Apocalypse by the Queen's spiritual daughter, Mary of Agreda. Now, last week we discussed Mary's role in assisting the infant church, how Mary, Mother of the Church, appeared not once but twice in Spain to save her devotee, St. James the Greater, and it was from certain death in one instance and to aid him in his ministry in another. This week, we look at key dates in the life of Mary, from the birth of her son in Bethlehem to his crucifixion on Calvary. And if you're a premium member, you'll get the entire show. These extended versions are a way of thanking you for being a premium member and for your financial support in producing this spiritual content. Thank you. And if you happen to be watching the shorter version for free on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe button and consider becoming a premium member for just $10 a month. And with us, Church Milton's managing editor, who really wears many hats around here, the overworked and underappreciated Rodney Pelletier. <laughs> Thank you for taking time from your 16 other jobs there right now. Uh, I feel appreciated being on the show. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so um, and the fact that you read these things, you actually have a lot of theology, your background yeah. and, and uh, spiritual work and all these things to appreciate some of this. Yeah. Um, I would really like to just focus on a month, mm -hmm. and it's the month of March, and how this month of March is so key in the life of Christ, and how it's being drawn out by Venerable Mary of Regretta in, in, in her writings here. Now, as, you, as you're going to see, we're going to be flopping around a little bit. We're going to be mm -hmm. jumping around to different... Uh, different volumes here. We got volume one, the conception, volume two is the incarnation, volume three, transfiction, and volume four is the coronation in that history of the Blessed Mother. Mm -hmm. And this month of March is, uh, we're going to draw the first one from last week. What we talked about, if you watch last week's show on Mary assisting the church, Mary Regretta just drops this line, paragraph 319, it's in volume four, and she's talking about the month of August. Uh, called Sextilius, Sextilis. Uh, and then she said, well, that's the, the uh, uh, another name or the, the name typically given to August. Well, most people don't know that unless you study ancient Roman history. And really, it was in uh, 8 BC mm. that uh, Caesar Augustus came along and they changed the word Sextilis from mm -hmm. that month and started calling it the month of August. Huh, wow. and, and, and Sextilis, if you Google it, uh, S-E-X-I-T-I-L-I-S, they'll say, well, that was because it was the sixth month. Hmm. This is important now. This is very, for the sixth month from the first month of the year. Well, the Romans then held the fact that March is the first month of the year. Huh. So Romans themselves were saying March is the first month. You think, well, that, understanding maybe because of creation in the first month. How do they know that? But for whatever reason, they call March the first month of the year. Okay. So we're going to go on then. And that was from last week. Mm -hmm. So let's build on that and get some key dates here. This is, this is, uh, March is very important. Volume one, we go to paragraph 768. And here's a direct quote again from Mary Regretta. From the 8th of September, when they were espoused, talking about Mary, uh, talking about Mary and, and, and Joseph, they were espoused September 8th. Well, we just stop there for a minute. What do we know that September 8th also is? The birthday of the Blessed Mother. Oh, that's right. Yeah. September yeah. 8th, Mary's birthday. She was married mm -hmm. on her birthday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, from the 8th of September, when they were espoused, until the 25th of March following when the incarnation of the divine word took place. Well, right there we get an early indication. She says, as I will say in the second part, and the second part is in, in, in the incarnation. This is from volume one, still the conception. She's not ready to talk about this, but she does introduce it. Mm -hmm. And she says, uh, the 25th of March, and what do we celebrate in the liturgy, in the Catholic liturgy on March 25th, is the Annunciation, when Mary said, uh, may it be done unto me according to thy word, Boom, we say that's when the incarnation happens. Mm -hmm. And if you start looking at the liturgy, then you say, well, December 25th is no coincidence because that's nine months after March 25th. So you have March 25th to December 25th is the birth of our Lord. So this is starting to, to build, but she's just 
putting it out there. Hmm. She says, uh, then we move to volume two, which is, uh, so this is the third book we're pulling up here now. Volume two, paragraph 138, speaking directly of the incarnation. Volume two is called Incarnation. It's all about that part of the history. Here's a, a quote, a longer quote. She says, this happened in springtime of the 25th of March. Once again, the incarnation, the annunciation, be it done unto me, the angel Gabriel appearing to Mary, and she's saying, I, yes, and be it done unto me. And boom, the hypostatic union takes place, the incarnation takes place on March 25th. This is just how she's talking about it. She says, this happened in springtime on the 25th of March at break or dawning of the day. Hmm. So the angel appears to Mary at the dawning of day. She's in her prayers or whatever, and, and he appears to her. In the same hour, interesting, in which our first father Adam was made, so he was made at the dawn wow, okay. of creation. And in the year of the creation of the world, 5199. So she's saying 5,199 years from Adam unto the incarnation. Wow, okay. She said, which agrees also with the count of the Roman church in her martyrology. Well, now I'm going to have to fact check that, right? Because going to crack open the martyrology. <laughs> Got to go yeah. get a martyrology because I didn't have one, so I had to buy one. Okay, and but you can also Google them. But I, I did want to have a copy of it. And she says, which uh, with, with the count of the Roman mar Church in her martyrology under the guidance of the Holy Ghost. So she's saying under the guidance of the Holy Ghost, the church putting all the facts and pieces together, saying from Adam. Until the incarnation, 5,199 days. Hmm. And the church has said this. Church has That's said this. amazing. Now here, you're 40 some mm -hmm. years old and relatively intelligent. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I try. Okay. And, you know, semi-educated, right? <laughs> and you didn't totally know that. No. You didn't know that. No. And yet I'm going to show you that it's absolutely known. Hmm. Most of our viewers out there probably wouldn't know this either. Hmm. Somehow Mary Vergreta knew this when she was just as little locked up, you know, in a convent mm -hmm. in, in Spain. She said, this reckoning actually, she goes to bat for it. She says, this reckoning is true and certain one as was told me when I inquired, heaven, angels, God, whatever, when I inquired at command of my superiors. Hmm. Now, remember, she's writing all this under guidance and command of her superiors, mm -hmm. and she's saying, this is what I wrote today, this is what I wrote today, and they're looking at it like, can you go back and check the date on that? You know, that 5199 thing, go, go back and ask our Lord, mm -hmm. or, or Mary, or angels, or something. Get some confirmation on that. So she did, huh. and she comes back and says, yes, at the command of my superiors, I asked about this, and she's telling people that. She wrote that in her book. She says, conformable to this, the world was created in the month of March. Hmm. So the month of March, the world's created. Let's go back to what did the Romans were always saying? March was the first month. Wow. Okay. Isn't that, that's, yeah. that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Somehow the Romans Somehow had a the, line on that. I can yeah. see how Mary Vergretta get it, you know, on the angels or whoever. Yeah. Telling, or actually, she just has infused knowledge. She's not saying, now this is also important on how she knows things. Mm -hmm. She said, I inquired. She's not saying this is all dictated. You wouldn't, right. you wouldn't dictate it and then say, I'm going to ask you, is it true or not? Right. She's writing all of this from her understanding. Hmm. That's a huge point. Yeah. That goes back to, I think, like the second show when we said, or third, how, third show, how, did, how does she know all this? Right. And it's like she has been given an understanding. How did Joseph Cupertino know stuff? How did Padre Pio know the sins of somebody else? How did, mm -hmm. how did the cure of ours say, well, you're withholding something in confession or whatever? They have infused science, mm -hmm. infused understanding. So she says here, it's a proof that she's not getting all this just directly channeled from God. She goes back and checks with God and says, yep, that's true. Because she's writing all this and her superiors know that and say, wait a minute, you, you might have made a mistake on that. Mm. She just went back and checked and said, nope, that's not a mistake. Huh. So she said, conformable to the world was created in the first month of the, the month of March, which corresponds to the beginning of creation. So she's straight out saying Adam was created at the dawn of day in March. That's when this, now there may be scientists out there saying, well, the oldest star, the oldest. We don't know when God started the physical, original physical creation. matter or whatever, yeah, but yeah. completing creation was not created. The seventh day of rest was not entered into mm -hmm. until we actually have Adam. Mm -hmm. Right. God is still in that 
period of creating. So we don't want to get hung up on all that. But the, from the the from the time Adam came into being until, and that's when we say this beginning of creation, the the apex or the finalization of creation, everything that is supposed to be created is now on in in place. Right. No more creating, and we enter the seventh day, which is you know. God rested on mm -hmm. the seventh day. Right. That's when, after he created um, huh. Adam. Amazing. So, well, Eve was at the, I, you know, a day or two later, an hour or two later, <laughs> you know, whatever. I don't Probably know about not. that. But <laughs> anyway, we have that month of March. This is going on. So that March is so interesting, one, because the Romans were saying it was the first of the month. Mm -hmm. And how they knew that, we don't know. And they didn't change that distinction until right before Christ came into the world mm. and 8 BC when they started calling it August. Uh, that's all fact-checked. Mm. Then we're going to start fact-checking this 5199. She's on the hook for 5199 and you, me, and the crowd don't know that this is true or not. Even her superior said, can you go check? And that's in the 16, about 1650. Yeah. They're saying, now you need to go check that out. So... Let's pull up the Roman Martyrology. This is actually recited at the TLM Masses at Midnight Mass, right after, uh, right after Compline. And I remember being at the Fraternity of St. Peter and they were reciting this. Ah. But you can look this up as well. This is from the Roman Martyrology that they're reading from. In the year from the creation of the world, when in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, 5,199 from creation, and there go all these different dates all the way down, and the last line says, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the flesh. Hmm. Now remember, 5,199 is from when his incarnation, but that's the same year, December, right. so 5,199 works for both. Hmm. Okay. It's that year when he was incarnate till when he was born oh, in December. Right, right, right. So we're dealing with the same 5,199. And they're verifying that, yes, that year that he was incarnated and was also born that year was 5,199. They give all these dates. It's really interesting. Get a Roman Martyrology one dates. It says, in the year from the creation of the world, when the beginning of God created the heavens and the earth, 5,199. From the flood, 2,957. From the birth of Abraham, 2,015. From Moses and the going forth of the people out of Israel, 1,510. And it goes on and on and on. There's a whole list of dates. Hmm. But it starts off with from the creation of the world. Now, that's when the first stars were made or whatever, but at least Adam. Mm -hmm. And the heaven within him, the kingdom of heavens within you, he's in the state of sanctifying grace. 5,199. So right there, it does say that that's a fact check. All right. We checked that. <laughs> paragraph 2, paragraph, uh, so volume 2, paragraph 47, once again about the birth. At the hour of midnight, on a Sunday, in the year of the creation of the world, 5,199, which is the date given in the Roman church, and which date has been manifested to me as the true and certain one. Hmm. Notice the continuity through all yeah. of this. There's no mistaking that, yes, the church is verified. Yes, right. this is the date. Yes, it was made known to me. She, she, she just keeps laying it out there. Hmm. And when you fact check this, every single thing fact checks. Hmm which is just uh, amazing. Yes, the Romans used to call it the sixth month of the year, August, so that means March was the first month of the year. Um, yes, the Roman martyrology backs up 5,199. Yes, she was told by her superiors, and there, remember, she's declared venerable, so everything that she wrote was in the book, mm -hmm. and they would read that, and they'd say, did you guys actually tell her to go check this? Yep, we did. Yep. Well, she says here, did you tell them to go check? Yep, we told her that. Hmm. Wow. She showed you this stuff? And you told her to go check it out, and she did, and came back and said, yes, I checked it out. Yep, because that's in the book. That would be the first thing you look at when you start checking, you know, looking and verifying her. So um, we're going to, uh, in, the, in the second half, that's it for our, our shorter version for, uh, for non-premium members. We'll see you next week when we talk uh, about the Blessed Virgin Mary, how she felt all the pains inflicted on her son during uh, 
his passion and death and also how she relived that agony many times thereafter. Uh, in the second part here, if you stick around, we will be, uh, for premium, we'll be talking about how uh, our Lord, the date of his crucifixion and how all this ties in also into the month of March. God bless you.